2013 Swag Football Media Day Live, and we're rounding it out. Things coming to an end here, and we're now joined by the defending Swag champs, Arkansas at Pine Bluff head football coach Monty Coleman. It was a Redskin reunion, I guess, if you, <laughs> if you want to, if you will. Anthony Jones here, former teammates, and That's right. Doug Williams as well from Grambling State. How are you today, Coach? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. We talked about two great ball players. That's uh, right. Guys I enjoy playing with and uh, love very, very dearly. Well, Coach, talk about this season. Uh, you know, last season is last season. I know that's how, how you coaches like to look at it, defending SWAC champs. Uh, talk about uh, talk about some of the things. You, your preseason ranked uh, number one in your division, and you got a guy that's also uh, the preseason offensive player of the year. Talk about going into this season and trying to defend that title again. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a hard task uh, for us to, uh, to repeat. Uh, I think we're poised a, as a team. Uh, one of the, the key ingredients for us to uh, maintain or to, uh, to repeat this year or to be contenders uh, this year is basically we've got to stay healthy. And uh, that was one of the comments that I made when we were on stage when we were uh, uh, addressing the media is uh, we, we've got to stay healthy. And it starts with our quarterback, Ben Anderson. Ben coming off a great season last year. He led us as a quarterback uh, to the SWAC championship, won it, uh, was the offensive player of the, of the game. And uh, this year he's preseason all SWAC uh, um, uh, offensive player. So, you know, the thing he's got to do, he's got to lead us like he did last year. Uh, he's got to put last year behind him. He's got to work even harder. And that's the thing that I'm, I'm trying to uh, cons uh uh, tell him right now is that he's got to work even harder this year in order to achieve some of the things that, that we want to do as a team and definitely some of the things he wants to do individually. Uh, it's got to be um, done right now. He can't wait until to August. He can't wait to September. It's got to be done right now. Look back at last season and two, uh, well, one pivotal game I'll, I'll notice right out of the gate. And, you know, it was a dog fight to try to get to the SWAC championship last season in Birmingham. Uh one game that stood out for me was the one at Alabama State last season. How pivotal was that game in to pushing you forward and to uh, eventually get into that championship game? Very, very pivotal. Uh, Alabama State's a very good football team. Coach Barlow has done a great job with that team through the years. And uh, to go there on a Thursday night and play them uh, in a hostile stadium with yep. the crowd and stuff uh, on ESPN2, uh, excuse me, ESPNU, Right. And uh, able to come out there with a the victory uh, was very big. Uh, we, we had a uh, kicker, Tyler Strickland. He had to kick a 50-yard field goal. And in, in all uh, sincerity, that that's the, the the points that won the game for us because they had an opportunity to kick a field goal, either to tie it or to go ahead, and they missed it. And uh, we were able to hold on in, in a hard-fought football game against a very good football team coached and players. Sitting here talking with Arkansas Pine Bluff head football coach Monday Coleman, who was one of the Redskins' 70 greatest players set a school record at Central Arkansas with 22 interceptions. Does that record still stand at, at your alma mater? That, that record still stands. Okay. Uh, You're hoping that one didn't change, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you, you, you root for it, and I, and I do. I root for UCA. We had an opportunity to play them a couple, two years ago. Uh, I root for their players. Uh, sure. I am an alumnus. That's right. And uh, if the record's broken, that that's fine. Um it is what it is. I, I did what I did. Right. Three-time right. Super Bowl champion as well with the Redskins, and you were most notably uh, Super Bowl 26. I was doing my homework. Do you know who performed at that Super Bowl? Can you recall? Uh, you probably, you uh, probably, you're probably uh, going. I'm probably, <laughs> probably going to say your age here, and I, and I hope hope you don't strangle me when it's over. But it was Chubby Checker. Who? <laughs> yeah. You didn't realize that, did you? No, yeah. that's, that's why we were on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we were in the locker room for that one. <laughs> Chubby Checker performed at uh, Super Bowl 26. Are you sure? And that's, that's a stat there that I noticed when I looked up and I said, you know, I got to bring this up. I know you're probably going to kill me when I mention it, but I have to, <laughs> to bring it up. Eight and one in the swag. Where do you go from here? <sighs> Hopefully up. Sure. Hopefully up. That that's that's what I'm trying to. Me and the coaches, we're we're, we're teaching, we're we're, we're training. Um, we're hopefully up. You know, the, the the thing that sticks in my mind as a memory uh, in 2006, we we were uh, Western Division champs. We lost to Alabama A&M in the championship game, and it went downhill. And it's been downhill pretty much uh, prior to 2011. Excuse me, 2000. And, 
yeah, 11, uh, we had a winning season. And sure. in 2012, of course, we did what we did. But it was downhill after that. And I guess that's kind of stuck in my crawl. I, I don't want to do that again. I want to make sure that we take care of all of our business on and off the field to make sure that that does not happen, that we spiral down opposed to either maintain uh, with, with, with winning seasons for the next few years or with the ultimate uh, going back to the SWAC championship back-to-back. Talk about a guy you got on your team. He's a Springdale, Arkansas native. Last year he was second team all swag. This year he's been voted on first team preseason at wideout. Ladarius Eggwood, what does he bring to the table for you? you know, this young man has, has all the abilities. He's got the blood line. Uh, his uncle played with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay. Uh, Jerry Eggwood, a uh, great running back. Uh, Ladarius caught 106 passes his senior year in high school. I mm. uh, thought other teams, if, if not maybe for his overall speed, um, uh, maybe we didn't have a chance at him, but we were able to uh, corral him to a scholarship. And uh, he's really just coming into his own. Uh, he, he's a senior in the classroom, has two years to play. And uh, the kid, he, he's a leader on the team. He wants the football. He knows what to do when he gets the football. And I think it was very obvious last year with the number of yards that he had and, and the big plays that he had uh, for touchdowns. So we're counting on him to come in. Uh, he was supposed to be here with Media Day with us here in Birmingham uh, this year. Mm -hmm. uh, but because of... Uh, um, uh, um, family issues he was unable to okay. come but we did bring Be Desmond Beverly which we're very glad to have him but Eckwood is going to be a big part of our offense next year on the defensive side season. I'm sorry on the defensive side of the ball uh, you get a senior linebacker returning I know you like your linebackers yes, I do. 6'1", 225 and this guy finished third on the team and he had 98 tackles yeah. so uh that's a lot coming back for you. You got to be happy about getting a Jaren Harris back. Well, when, when when I went to visit on a home visit uh, over in uh, Arlington, Tennessee, uh, Mr. Harris, uh, one of my selling points was I wore number fifty-one when I played with the Redskins. <laughs> I told him, and I actually took it off the back of one of our other players and told him that if he came to Arkansas Pine Bluff, which there were several swag schools that was recruiting him, also, right? I told him that I promised him that he would wear number fifty-one because he reminded himself of me when I was in college okay. uh, when he was in high school the way he runs to the football he has a great nose for the ball uh, he has great football speed uh, and um, and I think that was a selling point when I told him I would give him my my number because I, I just felt like he would play like I tried to play and uh, the kid have, have definitely played a whole lot better than I did when I was in college. He's one of our leaders on and off the field uh, during the season and during the off season. And uh, I'm very glad that he uh, chose UAPB as his school of choice. Talk about this year's championship game. You know, we're, we're, le we're leaving uh, Birmingham and we're packing things up. And Birmingham has been a really great city, a great host city for us in terms of the SWAC football championship. But now we're going to Reliance Stadium. And you being a former pro as well, how important is it for us now to be in this indoor stadium, this indoor uh, retractable dome, if you will, of Reliance Stadium in Houston? What do you think about that move? I think it's a great move. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uncertainties uh, sure. leading up into it, uh, simply for the fact it's the, the inaugural season. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what to expect. Uh, we've been in Birmingham, Birmingham for several years, but there are some, some uh, added advantages. <coughs> Excuse me. One of the added advantages is it's going to be indoors. Uh, the weather won't play a part. And, um, you know, uh, the, one of the four maps, you're going to invite all ten bands. Uh, two, the two teams, right. of course, uh, will perform that's in the game, will perform at halftime, and the others uh, have a battle of the band after the game. So that's going to be conducive for them because of the indoors. So uh, Houston is a great city. Uh, I, I think we'll draw fans there simply for the fact it's going to be indoors and the weather won't pay a part. And uh, hopefully the SWAC will make lots of money from all the promoters that's going to be, um, not promoters, but from the uh, investors that's going to be uh, investing into the uh, SWAC. Thank you. Arkansas Pine Bluff head coach Money Coleman here with us at the 2013 SWAC.